Good morning, guys. It is very early. It is 5.36 a.m. I'm just gonna jump right into what I'm doing today. So, I'm flying. This vlog is gonna be two days in my life of doing two day turns and what I meal prep for those turns. So today I'm flying down to Turks and Caicos and right back, I should be back by like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. today, somewhere around there. I just made a matcha. <laughs> I have to find a, con a good container to put that in. And then for my food food today, I brought a big, or I'm bringing a big green smoothie. There's a lot in here. I've got the blender bombs, greens, collagen, uh, banana, hmm. Coconut water needs to be shaken up. It's been sitting all night. I'll put a list right here of everything that is inside of my smoothie. I've got my little supplements in here for later. I have, there's so much going on in my fridge right now. I have these little peckish boiled eggs. These are super good. So they give you like a little seasoning packet. This one's the ranch flavor. And they're these like cage free little egg, boiled eggs. Really good for like a quick, I don't know, grab and go snack. I just saw them at my Whole Foods. I've only ever seen them on the West Coast. So I was excited to see them at my Whole Foods here in Boston. And I wanted to grab those just cause I knew it would be easy for this morning. And then I just have some buffalo chicken from a rotisserie chicken that I got yesterday. I'm probably not going to need all of this. I mainly probably just needed the, the smoothie and the eggs, but you never know. And then tomorrow I have a Savannah turn. So a much quicker turn, but I just threw my, oops, my matcha and my little keep cup. My Stojo cup is dirty, so that's why I'm not using my pink signature Stojo cup. And I'm missing some of my jars. So I just poured the rest of my matcha in here that I'm gonna use later. Let's request this Uber. I woke up and did not give myself anywhere near enough time to get ready for work. Last night, or the night before last, I didn't get home till almost 2 a.m. And then of course, you know, I have a super, super early show today. That's part of, a lot of people are like, they don't understand why I'm tired all the time, that it's like a health issue. And sometimes it can be, cause I'm like, like I said in one of my other vlogs, I haven't been focusing on hydrating enough, but this job is just tiring. Like, you know, you get unusual sleep schedules. And for example, coming back home after 1 a.m., not going to bed until after 2 a.m. the night before last, and then trying to like force yourself to go to bed early the next night and then having to wake up at 5 a.m. today. So it's like, sometimes it's just inevitable. Something else I've noticed, a lot of people seem to be concerned when I say that I'm tired. Cause I say that I'm tired after my walks. Well, I go on, when I walk in the city, especially it's been summertime too, I walk for around anywhere from about five to 10 miles. Anyone's gonna be a little bit tired after that, especially after flying all day. I think a lot of people, most everyone who's in the industry, they get it. They're like, yeah, girl, even one flight can take it out of you. But when you're working days of like three flights, it can be a lot. Flying takes a toll on your body. So that's why I just try really hard to take care of myself and have to remind myself things like drink more water, which I'm gonna fill up my hydro flask now. My Uber is almost here. Off to Turks and Caicos I go. I wish I was staying. <laughs> Guys, oh man, I have makeup all over my face. 
I forgot to mention that today is September 11th. This lighting is really weird. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention that today is September 11th. It's always weird flying on this day. Um, I've, since I've been a flight attendant, every year I have flown on September 11th. I have like mascara all under my eye. I saw a video. It Honestly, it was a video that I feel like I'm kind of surprised it wasn't like censored or taken off because it was extremely graphic about uh, one of the buildings going down. It was like an up-close video of when one of the planes hit the buildings and you can just hear people screaming and stuff. It was very disturbing and it just kind of set me off. I just started crying. Oh, there goes my AC, of course. So that's why I have makeup <laughs> because it's just such a, it, you, it never goes away. I was, I was old enough to remember the whole day um, when it happened. I remember it very vividly, most people do. It's like, just it's just one of those days you don't forget. So I guess I just thought I'd say something about it, um, because it doesn't feel right not saying anything about it, you know? But my turn was really nice. My friend Renee was just here, so we were hanging out talking. He just left, and I'm gonna meal prep for tonight, well, for tomorrow. It's such a short turn tomorrow, so I don't need to make too much food. I'm gonna try to go to bed, because I didn't sleep hardly at all last night, and I need to make up for it tonight. Maybe I'll put on a podcast and just start prepping. I gotta think of what I wanna make. Okay, I realized I probably should have filmed myself making these two things but i was on the phone with my friend so it's gonna look weird it's the weird wellness stuff as some people call it but it's just stuff that i like or people who are into natural health and wellness know what a lot of this stuff is but basically first thing i made was a the first thing i made my camera's not focusing lately okay i'm sorry i don't know why my camera's not focusing but the first thing that i made is this blue chia seed pudding I, there's obviously chia seeds in there. I used walnut milk. I used blue spirulina powder that I got from Whole Foods to make it blue. It's not fishy tasting at all. There's blueberries and a big dollop of the Beekeepers Naturals honey in here. They're bee powered honey. So I have that just to make it, I put the honey in there to make it a little sweet. And then I'm not drinking coffee tomorrow. I don't wanna have really any caffeine. I know there's a little bit of caffeine in cacao but this is cacao, rose powder, uh, maple syrup, and some cinnamon and cardamom in here for tomorrow for my coffee replacement. So I'm really excited about this, and it's in walnut milk, of course. This is the walnut milk that I use. I'm absolutely obsessed with this walnut milk. It tastes incredible, especially with cacao. And then I have my supplements for tomorrow. Um, the only other thing that I'm bringing, those two things, and then, since it's such a short day turn, I don't wanna bring too much. Oh, I'm gonna bring these crackers. I don't know why I'm putting them in the fridge, but I guess it can't hurt. And I kinda wanna throw some of my chicken salad in a Tupperware container and bring that and eat it with the flackers and some hot sauce.
first.